Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we are picking up where we left off with our testosterone synthesis series. Today we are talking about the backdoor pathway, which continues off from our classical pathway that we talked about last time. So if nothing makes sense here, please go back and watch the classical pathway because I'm going to skip through the very beginning. And this pathway is very interesting because it actually tells us a lot about how we get male sexual development from babies with testes. And I'm going to go into that in a minute, but let's just pick up here with the beginning of our pathway. As you remember from previous videos, we have cholesterol converted to pregnenolone, progesterone, 17-hydroxyprogesterone, androstenedione, and testosterone. This is kind of part of the pathway uh, we talked about last time, but I'm not going to go into that again. We're just going to talk about the next steps in the backdoor pathway. We're going to see some molecules today that we have not seen before in any of our other videos, and one of the reasons for this is that an enzyme that we talked about in my differences in sexual development videos is going to make a comment back. And this enzyme is 5-alpha reductase, our friend 5-alpha reductase. And as you know, this enzyme is really important in production of male external genitalia, so the penis uh, and the prostate um, and the scrotum are all going to be produced via uh, testosterone conversion to DHT via 5-alpha reductase. But we see here 5-alpha reductase is back and it will convert progesterone to pregnan 320 dione and that sounds like a lot um, but basically there are two um, ketone groups so there's an own di to own ketone and they are on the 3 and the 20 uh, carbon specifically so that's how you know uh, what this means it's just telling you with the position of the ketones that's not really important but it is uh, produced by 5 alpha reductase uh, conversion of progesterone and then this molecule is going to be converted to an intermediate that really isn't important for anything uh, but it's going to convert via 3 alpha hsd to pregnan 3 alpha all 20 own so now we have an all <laughs> group on the 3 alpha and a ketone group on the 20 um, so that's just an intermediate that doesn't really matter uh, next one is more important we have conversion of this long molecule to <laughs> to pregnan 317 diol 20 own via 17 alpha hydroxylase an enzyme that we've seen in the past uh, in many other places of this pathway and this again we have two all groups on the three and the 17 we have an own group on the 20 not super important that's all organic chemistry um, but we can also get conversion of 17 hydroxyprogesterone to this new molecule via 5-alpha reductase and also 3-alpha hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase. So you can get extra conversion down here. Two separate ways you can enter this pathway of the backdoor pathway, both requiring 5-alpha reductase. Um, so you are only going to see this in people that have high levels of 5-alpha reductase. So people with testes are going to have 5 alpha reductase. Unless, of course, you have 5-alpha reductase deficiency, which you would see in my video on that. You can learn all about that. But apply your knowledge there to this. What would happen if we didn't have 5-alpha reductase? You could not enter this backdoor pathway, um, and you wouldn't be able to undergo these steps. Uh, but then this pregnant 317 diol 20 own is going to be converted by 17-alpha hydroxylase to androsterone. And then androsterone can be converted via 17 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase to androstane diol, not androstene diol, androstane diol. And that's just a minor difference in the molecule. Um, but androstane diol uh, is going to be where we leave off here because we're not going to convert directly to testosterone via this pathway. Um, testosterone, as you remember, is converted by 5 alpha reductase to DHT, which is a more potent form of testosterone, and then androstane diol will be converted to DHT via a um, funny, funny molecule, funny enzyme, retinol dehydrogenase 5. Uh, and, and this is something that you assume retinol has a lot to do with eye health, and you'd be correct. Retinol is involved in um, pigments in, in the eye. Uh, but we are seeing a retinol dehydrogenase here converting androstane diol to DHT and then uh, 
In the reverse, we have 17 beta HSD converting DHT to androstane diol. So we have this pathway here, and what makes this pathway so interesting is the fact that these, once you convert uh, via 5 alpha reductase to this backdoor pathway, these cannot be converted via aromatase to estrogens or estradiol. So as you may remember from other pathways, we have testosterone as an intermediate that is converted via aromatase to estradiol. And that's where in children who are assigned female at birth or who have um, ovaries, in that video, you saw how testosterone was converted to estradiol, and that's how we get high levels of estradiol in children with ovaries. But in this case, we have high levels of 5-alpha reductase, so we're getting these molecules shunted to this backdoor pathway, producing a lot of these kind of intermediate androgens, which cannot be converted to es estrogens and estradiol. So that's why we don't get as many estrogens um, in these children, especially if you have 5-alpha reductase deficiency, um, you're going to end up producing high levels of estradiol because that's going to be shunted to the aromatase pathway and not enter this back backdoor pathway. So as you can see, the backdoor pathway is very essential in male sexual development. I hope you liked this video. This was a bit more intense than some of my more recent videos, um, but stay tuned for more on these more complicated endocrine pathways, and I will see you all in the next one.